it is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. It is bling bling Sunday. It's not a traditional bling bling, but we are working with some glitters and some resin and we are going to attempt. Hopefully it works out. I'm fine. I'm the person that does one thing and then if I keep trying, the more I try, the worse it gets. So hopefully we're going to do our amazing little dragonfly. It is with UV resin, it is with glitter, and it is with wire. So my amazing people, go get yourself a cup of tea, go get yourself a drink. It's going to be a little later of a video today going out. So go grab some snacks and let's go. I'm going to show you a little bit of a a haul kind of a deal before and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, I made some homemade soap. This is like I'm I'm no I know I'm doing the video on the dragonfly, but I wanted to show you just something quick. This is my first attempt at homemade soap. I was watching KB Creation Creative and she was making some homemade soap out of the dollar store where well, you can get it anywhere this is jergen soap it's very soft mild it's a soft soap that you can cut it up really easy so i took my bar soap i actually she took a cutter but i used a cheese grater and grated it up i did it long story short i bought Michael's had these. I know I have my own. I should have just used my own. These are dried rose petals. And when I went in, I might have showed you this already. This was a um, an oil, fragrance oil. And it is gardenia. So I thought I poured a little bit in it. And then I got this with my 60% off mold. I'm going to flip it, but I don't want to lose everything that's in it. It's a flower mold. You could use it for resin as well. It's, um, I don't know if it's shiny on the inside or not, but it doesn't matter because you can always do a coat of something on the outside if you use it for resin. And then they had these molds. So this was my thoughts where my daughter and I were gonna make some soap. So I was experimenting first. The only thing is I found the flowers went black, which is fine, but oh, it smells so nice, but um, she adds a little water when she does it. I think I put too much water because it's so, it's very soft, but it's very pretty. So I just had to show that. And my other little haul, this is crazy because my other fellow YouTubers are getting me to buy things. Um, I've never done, I've done some um, polymer clay when I was doing the jewelry, but I've never actually done air dried clay and watching Claire's from <laughs> the amazing Claire, I bought this. I've looked at these before to purchase for home for cooking, but I bought this and of course, me being me, I try, I'm going to try the dollar store stuff first and I bought some dollar air dry clay. We're going to play around with that. Obviously it's not for right now, but it might be closer to Christmas for next year. So with that, I'm going to put this stuff away. I'm going to get all my stuff out for my amazing I'm excited to do this, some wire work, and I'll see you guys in a second. Hello, I'm back. So I'm organized, so to speak, as organized as Sherry can be. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go through a whole bunch of stuff. If you do not wanna watch this, you can either, no offense, move on, or you can fast forward to the actual doing the the dragonfly when i do my videos i like to show you everything i like to give you some knowledge behind what you're trying to do and with that it takes time so i'm not a five minute video so with that today's video might be a little longer so i'm gonna go through the different types of wire that you can purchase and it all and it makes a difference the gauges on your wire this is a 18 gauge it means it is the thickest. The higher the gauge, the thinner the wire. And the less, um, like this one's quite, this is, I would use this 18 gauge to make wire rings and stuff that is, you want it to be a little more sturdy. Now this one is a 26 gauge, which is a bit, if I can get it out. Where's the little end? 
I don't want to pull the whole thing off because then it'll unravel. Where are you? Here, there's probably a littler one down here that's already open. So this one is a... See, I've got all these little ones. This one's a 26. Now look at the difference. There is a huge, a huge, huge difference. So um, be mindful of that. A lot of times when you get, like at the dollar store, you'll get a bunch of little ones like this with colors. They are probably going to be the thinnest wire that you're going to get. Like it doesn't do, you know, it makes it hard depending on what you want to work with. So I went out because I, <laughs> the way Sherry is, I went out, all I had were heavy or too thin. So I went out and I purchased um, some 22 gauge and 24 gauge wires. And I didn't have copper and I thought it would be pretty to do one in copper. So it, it, this at Michael's came with a kit. It had four, it's got a silver, a platinum, I don't know if it's called, what is it? It's, and it's all copper wire, right? And it's just coated. Um, it doesn't tell you what colors. Oh, this doesn't even tell you on the side. So one is gold, one is like a rose gold, and one is two silvers by the looks of it. There might be a little bit of a difference in them, but I don't think so. And then this one is a 26 gauge, which is what I had there. It's a little bit thinner, and I thought it would be cute to maybe add embellishment or something. You could do beads around the body of it. And then this one is the, it's a German style wire. It is round and you can get different shaped wire. I have square wire where it is, where it is round. I'll show you with the 18 gauge, where it is a round wire. I have wire that's square. I have wire that's triangular. So you can buy so many different things. So I bought that one thinking I'd be, Today we might do it in this color because I thought it would be pretty. Now I just want to show you a couple tools that I have used in the past. This is amazing. It is, and it's funny because I have two of them. It's it's a kit like this. It, it is um, a pegboard and it comes with instructions on how to, to do different patterns and like you can make a cross and it's just really really fun and it comes with little peg like a little um piece of plastic to keep your pegs in and i'm just going to show you a couple things i made with that so this is one of them it is a wire wrapped celtic kind of celtic design of a necklace with of course swarovski crystals i don't know if you can really see it or not I mean, oh, I guess if I can put it down and leave it. <laughs> so that's a necklace that I've made. Um, also, I did this one. This is a pendant with some Swarovski flat backs. So I would put that in an, in a, and I made earrings as well. I put a necklace in through that hole. And with the wire wrapping, I also did these. I was doing these as well. These are little bird's nests, necklaces with actual turquoise beads in there for this little eggs. And this was in the container, so I'm just gonna show it to you because it's kind of cute. Um, a client of mine came to me and asked if I did some, um, her, mother, her grandmother passed away and she wanted to make some teacup jewelry for her daughters. And so I did this and I've, I soldered, cut it up, and then I put some Swarovski crystals on there. On a, and put it on a chain. So that's, you know what I mean? There's, as with anything, things are endless, my friends. So I'm gonna um, put, oh, let's go through the tools too. While we're doing all this, going through stuff, I'm just gonna put these back in this little container I had and that will be on, out of the way. Tools. There is a multitude of tools you can use. There are different pliers with um, one, this side is, one is rounded. So you can kind of do the pegs with the wire, with the pliers. This one's got, see each one's a little different and one's a little thicker. This one is amazing because when you have 
wire that is all wrinkly, you take this between the two, um, it's kind of like a silicone, like a little rubbery, it's not rubber, but it's, and you do this, you run your, your wire through and it will, ah, it will straighten it out for you without wrinkles, without, you see how the, you get a kink in there, you can take that kink right out. See, there was a kink here. So it's, it's amazing the things that you can find. And then of course you've got, you know, these are old, they're falling apart. These are my cutters. And these are my needle nose. And I have flat ones over here as well that, you know, we got smaller little ones. There's just, like I said, an endless array of things. You can get them that are um, angled on the end. These are flat ones. All kinds of stuff. And like I said, it is endless. I've got these. These will help you do the close up the uh, crimp beads. And anyways, so we're going to go through all of that. So these are my tools and this is what I'm going to be using. I might flip around between these and I will. I've had these for at least 15 years, guys. So I really don't know where these ones are nice. Um, they were expensive and my girlfriend had a shop here in town. See her and I used to do a lot of beadwork stuff. And I bought them through her, so I don't really know. There is a name on them, Beadsmith. So I'll check through, see if I can find them. If I can't find the link at all, I am apologizing right now. But I will try and find some links for you to put in the description box. Because that's another thing I like to do, is I like to share everything I used. All right. So we'll get into the wire wrapping. And then when we get to the resin stuff, I'll go through all that stuff when we get there. So I did... Let me pull out, I had some beads pulled out already in this little container because you want to put a little head on the guy. So I'm going to, I'm going to use this copper because see I put a, a bead right here. So you're going to start with a bead. There's a starting point to everything, correct? Oh, let me get something to cut. You watch, as soon as I cut this, it's going to fly open. Be mindful not to cut your wire, because it wouldn't be good to cut it in the middle of the strand and then have a hole. Uh, it looks like they were smart and did that. Uh, let me get on this side. There we go. Get rid of that and that. Oh, and see, yep, this is what happens. It all flies apart. So let me see what I got in here. I picked out a few beads. I'm thinking we might use this beautiful, this is an actual crystal. I had bought a necklace. Like this is like probably from the 40s, this necklace. I bought it at an antique shop and it was broken. So I pulled it apart to get the beads. And I'm thinking that that's the one we're going to use. Nice big bead on the top for a head. Let's put the rest of them back in here. You could go with anything. You could do like a pearl. You can do, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be. I just am blessed. Well, not blessed because I bought them all. But I'm just blessed that I have all of these tools on hand. Oh, see? This is what happens. So you have to be very mindful like losing the tape there we go once once you start oh it's gone right in the middle man all I have to say is man see story of my life let me just pull out a bunch of it while we're doing it and I don't have to do it once just follow that ring. <laughs> there we go. And maybe what I'm going to do is take a little piece of tape just to keep it around so it doesn't keep unraveling even more than what it is. 
there and it's just I can have it sit there all right so the first part of the body I'm going to set them on the ground there guys and I'm going to get these out of the way so you can see everything I'm doing there so the first part you want is roughly I did roughly 10 inches and I'm trying to find oh there you go dad I found my tape I'm always losing my tape so 10 inches is kind of what I want. So let's go, we'll go. And it's a rough estimation. You don't have to be 100% 10 inches. So there you go. And then I snip it with my little nipper. Now when you're doing things, this one's not so bad, but you want to cover your work when you're cutting because that way you're not going to poke somebody's eye out because I'm going to tell you right now, they fly everywhere. So the bead, it's got a hole in it. So I'm going to take that hole, put it through the copper, and we're going to take the wire where it meets at the end and just put this kind of in the center. Let's just flatten that out just a little. And because I want it to be right in the center. And there seems to be a little kinky in there. There we go. And this part don't matter because the body is longer than what. But you want to make sure when you start it, do you see how it's in, it's even. You want to make sure it's even or your little head's going to be off side. And then give it a, I'm opening it up like this and just giving it a good twist. And I'm going to twist all the way till I get to the end. And I find this way is easier. Because you get a nice, even twist. Oh, and this is nicer because the wire I used was a little bit thinner. I think I used the 26 gauge. And if these little nidges aren't even, who cares? Because it, it's the body part, right? And you're going to end up doing whatever. All the way to the end. See, you might be off a little bit, but that's okay. Because that's a big body, right? You don't need that big. And we're going to decide later how long we want it to be. There we go. So that is the body. Straighten it out. Oh, look at that. I have a pair of pliers that will help me do that. You can straighten it out. Get rid of all those little kinkies. And there you go. So that is the body base. Now I'm looking at that. It might have been better to use like an, but you can see the AB on it. That's why I took it. You might want a, a solid color. So now I'm going to do this. Oh, I never really measured. So that's why I said I'm, I'm one of those types that I'm just going to, because right about there was 10, correct? So I'm going to do maybe eight. Let me see. I'm going to measure correctly this time so I can tell you. So we're going to do eight, which is about there. And it was handy for me to pull all that out beforehand. And that way I'm not wrestling with it. So we're going to do eight for the bigger wing. And then I'm just measuring off of what I've cut. And we're going to do a smaller bit for the two bottom wings. So we're going to come in about there. So I'm going to say, I'll properly measure them for you. And I'm going to get a pen. I'm going to write it down here so I don't forget. Where is a marker or something I can use? There we go. So let's see if I can do this upside down. Nope. All right. Base is, we'll do base. It is 10 inches. I'm hoping you're seeing that. I'm doing it upside down, so I'm hoping it works. And the large wing is eight. And the small wing, I don't know if that's, I think I did it backwards. We're going to measure right now. Let's see how big the small wing is. I'm going to say six 
Oh, look at that, my friends. Pretty good. Pretty good. And a six. I don't know. I'm going to have to wait until I do my video to see if that is the right way. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to do it my way. Ten, eight, and six. In case it is not right. All right, here we go. So with <clears throat> the big one, you want to fold it in half. And again, the bigger, the bigger you make these, the bigger the dragonfly is going to be. I really didn't want them that big because this one to me was a bit too, too big. And like I probably did 10 inches on that one. So this one I'm trying to make it a little smaller. So what I did is I kind of put my two ends together at the end. I kind of pinched it here. And I'm going to try to make it so that it's oblong, right? Does that make sense? Now you can see this side's a bit bigger than that side. So you want to bring it in a little. Because you want them to be even, Stephen. And it doesn't, to be, it, and, and again, it doesn't really, really matter. See, to me, that, that looks pretty looks pretty even to me so I'm gonna take one piece here like this and twist once the second piece here I flipped it I'm, I'm hoping you can see all this because it's it's kind of hard and I just flipped it once there to hold them in place See this one, what I'm going to do, because it, it, it's twisted. I'm just going to bring it like this now and twist these two pieces together. I apologize, you might not be able to see 100%, but you're going to see it there. Like that. Now we're going to take this little piece and wrap it and try and get it as tight as you can right and pull them apart and then i'm going to take it right about here because you want it to be almost to the head and start wrapping i'm going to go one way with one i'm going to start with this one that's already in front of me and just start wrapping. You can use your fingers, you can grab your pliers to get a better grip on them. And this one I'm going to take, I wish it was just a little bit longer, and you can come around. I don't know if you've seen me, I pulled it around the wing and come over the head and do that. And this is where the pliers will come in handy because you can flatten things out. Let me grab the, where did my flat ones go? There we go. These ones that are flat and it'll take away because there's a, a, a piece right there that you don't want. And again, it's going to get covered, but I'm not too worried. So there we go. This we can actually probably almost untwist and they're even. Ah, that makes that. We're going to get them on first and then we can shape them. Now, other people do things other ways. I This is how I'm doing them. So I like the idea that I could shape it and I'm holding it while I'm, yeah. And then I bent it up and so there's a curl in it. Same idea, same premise, put it together, make sure they're even on the bottom. And I might do one, one twist here at this point. Just keep it there. 
and then bring it together. You see it's more so. Like I said, it's everything is handmade, guys, and not everything has to be. That's what I like about handmade. Not everything. Like, I'm an odd ducky, even when, oh, stop it. Even when I go and buy my clothes. I, I hate buying something that someone else, everyone has. I'm just an odd ducky. And then there's the little wings for the bottom. And again, it doesn't have to look pretty at this stage, but you want to make sure that they're going to stay together. So this one here, this guy here is having a little issue staying together. So let me grab, I'll show you. Let me grab the little needle nosed ones. If I can. These are big ones, but anyway, you can take your, this one, you can take your, your wire, hold onto it and you get a really nice tight pull and that will hold your stuff a little tighter there perfect so now i'm going to take these two and put it on the body i'm going to put them up close because ow it went in my fingernail what are the odds so that i can you can bend them back let me just bend that one up let me get my plier out and we'll do this. And I'm just pulling. You just get a nicer wrap. Looks a little cleaner. And the same with the other one. But we're going to go this way with that one. Give it a pull as you're going. My fingers. That's why I quit doing jewelry because my fingers don't work well. My, I've got so that I have bifocals, so my eyes <laughs> are horrible. Oh, my eyes were bad to start with. And I'm just going to take it. Maybe I'll use this one. Take it at the end like that just so I can get a better grip when it gets smaller and then just kind of smush it all in there so you don't see I don't feel anything and these you can bend them down all right and there we go we have the base now you can shape them on where did I put oh it's right in front of my eyes on this one I just kind of took my little pliers and and did something like this where you went like that that was about it so you take the plier and just give it a little half twist and that's it play around with it more you can open this up more I kind of liked it where it was a little pointy. Right. And again, this is Mother Nature. Nothing is 100% perfect. Let me just see if I can maneuver these. Just take your wire and play, right? See, that pulled it down. Hold the center and just take your wire and pull a little bit. And it made it more narrow like I wanted. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is take another piece of this because I never did that with this one. This one, I think she's pretty sturdy, but I'm going to just cut off. We're going to do measurements so that I can write everything down for you guys. And it, sometimes it's better to have more than not. So I'm going to just, you know what, I'm going to do another 10 inches and we're going to make a bigger body. I'm going to really wrap in those wings. And, and I'm just cutting, sorry. And we'll wrap a little more on the body so it stays a bit better. So I'm gonna start here. And we're gonna wrap 
around. Here, let me do this first. Because I want to start on the top. So I'm going to bring this down. Because I, I want to secure it before I start. So I'm going to do this. Do a couple little twists on the bottom. And then that way it will be secured. I'm going to go over and around each wing from one side and then I'm going to do the other side to do like a crisscross so those wings are secured in there. Wrap once, twice, three, however many times you want through the middle and then once and pull tight when you're doing this part. Two, I'm going to flip and then come this way. So there's going to be like an X. And then we can reshape these. Once, give it a good pull. And twice. And if you desire, you can finish making your body a little thicker. Because see, my body wasn't very thick on this one. This one's thicker. And let me see. I'm going to put you on pause. And I have some very small beads. Let me see if I can wire wrap a couple beads in there. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to put you on pause to get my beads. This is what happens when you do it and you're thinking as you're doing it. You change your mind, right? So this is why I keep my videos are long sometimes. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I found some beads. I have these cute little wee. They're all Swarovskis. I think these are four mils. I'll have to. I am not up to date on my my uh, my <clears throat> sizings of my beads. So with that, it it the whole fit. So I was that was the only thing I really worried about. You're gonna lose it, but you're gonna see that sparkle. So I want it to show up on the top. So I'm gonna put three. So I'm going to take this one and go like that. Kind of try and center it a little bit. And if not, it doesn't matter. I'm going to take another one. Now this is where my eyes are bad. There is a little hole in there. Oh, I found it. That's crazy. That's like the blind leading the blind. And you can put it on the side as well. It doesn't have to be right directly in the center. There's another one. I'm going to wrap it under the one wing. One more secured. And we're going to put one more on the bottom. And there we go. So we have three little beads in that. So now I'll just show you quick my container. So this is where I got all my beads. I have probably 50 of these. You think I was bad when I was doing all my other stuff. I, like I said, I could open up a Michael store. So these are all of my beads. This was part of the necklace. This is part of that necklace. Oh no, that's not. It's in another container. But anyways, so that's that. So I'm gonna put that behind me, out of my road. And now I'm gonna grab my pliers again. Cause this, now I want it to start to be taut again. I want it to be tight. So I'm taking my pliers and I'm pulling. And you see where it ends here? Where I secured it? We can take that piece as well. Maybe we'll do that one first since it's just kind of hanging out there. Like that. And I'm going to cut it. Snip it off. And this is where you cover, guys. Always cover with your hand. Be kind to someone else because you never know. I'm always lucky I got my glasses on, so but you never know. You might poke someone's eye out. So you're going to keep on twisting and twisting. One more twist if I can get a hold of it. There we go. And just bend it down just so you don't have any little no little catches so there we go there is our body I think he looks adorable my regret now is I wish I had a bead that was solid 
as a head, but you, well, you can see it, that's cute. So we'll worry about the bottom half after we get the wings done. I'm gonna put these little, I had these little ones as well. These little silver beads would have been cute in there. I don't know if you can see them. Very cute. I'm just gonna, one, one went flying. I'm just gonna put them in my, my, my dish in here. All right. Get that one piece out. So now we can shape the wings a little more. See, this is good. This, this, this is a nice size because to me, the other one was a bit big. So I'm going to try to reshape these just a little. The bottom ones are nice to bring them down. So I'm going to get my, my needle nosy. Oh, that's the, not the ones I want. These ones. I'm going to hold it here and just do a little bit of a twist like that. And then there you go. It's just playing with it, guys. You don't have to be like that. Perfect. I think they'll be good. This guy I want to be a little more, I don't know. How do I so I'm just pulling, holding down here and giving each one just a little bit of a pull to straighten out the, the wires. And I'm going to set it down. You might get a better look at it. And to me, that's fine. I'm not going for extravagant. We're going to put resin in it and we're going to put beads. The only thing is you want to make sure right this stage that it's kind of flat. So now what I'm going to do is we have options. When I did mine, some people dip them. I'm not going to waste my resin, throw it in a cup and dip it. Now you can purchase dipping resin that is colored, but I don't want to buy something else, guys. I'm trying to use what I have here <laughs> as I keep buying more things, but I mean, I'm trying, I'm trying to <laughs> use what I have. So this one is from Let's Resin. This one I purchased and this is packing tape. I used packing tape, but I found it didn't really stay. And it doesn't really matter because it's gonna be UV resin and you're gonna be, you can cut it. Like you're only gonna cure it for a little bit just to get the base color down. And then what I do is I come back with a little bit and I then I add my glitters. So I'm gonna take this I'm going to try and use the one from Let's Resin, see what happens here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put one wing on. One wing and one wing only. I'm here for one night and one night only. I'm going to do two. And then I'll cut it in the middle. And that way I'm not wasting. I know my guys there. It's being a pain. So let me find my little scissors here. Even though they're big scissors, I'm going to cut the tape off, but I want to, I'm bad with tape, cut the tape, but I don't want it to lose the end. So I'm going to fold a piece over like that. Now I can play more with this. I'm going to cut it in between. I'm going to cut off the excess like that. Stick it to my chin. You know, your other body parts become part of tools, right? God gave you the best tools. Use them. Now, what I'm thinking I may have to do is put these on a block of something. Like this. It's hard to see because I need... I'm just pressing down to get a semi sort of secured piece on there. There. So with that, I'm not worried. Like I said, this part's lifting a little. I'm not, to be honest, I'm really not that worried. I'm going to get out my UV resin from Let's Resin, part of the resin kit, jewelry kit. I have my 
trusty dusty little contraption thing I made up here. So, but first what I'm gonna do is pour the resin on here, get my light, I'm not set up yet. My light is right here, hopefully it's still plugged in. All right, we're good to go, okay. I'm gonna get my resin and I'm gonna use my little I'm gonna use my little spatula tool and maybe I'll bring you in a little bit closer so you can see more what I'm doing. I'm losing it guys. So all I'm doing is I'm gonna try and put some resin. I'm gonna hold my finger like this. I'm gonna try to put some resin in here. And make sure it goes to the edges. I'm gonna use my little tool. And again, like I said, if it goes over or under, I am not worried whatsoever. I'm going to take my lamp and I'm going to put that on. You can hold it if you desired. Once the first coat goes on, once I put all the glitters on, then I'm holding it. But let me just get rid of this, this guy there so I can get my mirrored part in there. And again, like I said, I'm not too worried if it's going to go over or under because it's so thin enough that you can take your nippers and just cut around the metal. So, I need music. I'm going to do this one side and then I'm going to do the other side, but I will not show you me doing the... Because this is the bases, right, guys? And I hopefully, you know what? I'll put you on pause because uh, I don't want to waste your time either. I'll put you on pause. Look, well, look at that. It, it did it for me. It paused it for me. Now, let's see. That is cured. Perfect. So now I'll do the second one. And again, this takes nothing, guys. There's no, oh my gosh, you can see me in there. This takes, here, let me put it on here because that's why I was doing it so you could see it. It doesn't take much, a drop, especially with that little one. Take your tool and bring it all the way. Now this is the one that was kind of falling out. And if it does, I'm not worried. We can, we can fix that, my friend. There we go, to the edge, to the edge. And I will put you on pause. I'll be back when that stops. Okay, so that stopped and it cured. So I'm going to pull the tape off. Now's the time. Be mindful that you don't want to pull off what you've put in there. There. And then the next one. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm hoping you're in there. This is hard for me, guys, because I'm standing the whole time I'm doing this. Normally, I, <clears throat> when I was doing this, I was sitting down. I'm just trying to pull it off without... There we go. Perfect. And there's, you know, there's a little there. I'm not worried. I ain't hating it. So there we go. We have a base coat of UV resin. So now I'm going to do the other side the exact same way. See, there's a little bit here. Let me get my nipper. And I'm right-handed, so there's a little bit there. Just take your, your nipper, and you can, you can bend this guy down. Let me see. And just cut it off. There. Or your scissors or whatever. Now there is a gap here, but you know what? We're putting more resin on there to put our glitter in, so I'm not overly worried. Okay, so I'm going to do the exact same process for the other side. And when I come back, we'll have four wings all ready cured. So I'll be right back, guys. 
Okay, I am back. I had done the other two pieces. We're gonna take these off. I did the exact same thing, my friends. And we're gonna pull that off. Gently. Oh, perfect. And none of it had any overlay. Beautiful. Okay, so now it's still pliable. This is where I bent the wing up. Like you can bend the wing down like that and then bend it up to give it some three dimensionalness to it. Just snipping it up so you can see there's a little bit of an angle. So flatten it down, bend it. Oh, be careful. Bend it up and you want to grab the wire. You want to make sure you're not going to pull off what you just secured. There we go. Perfect. So now he is ready. He, she is ready to go. So I have looked through all of my Laura's glitters. This actually I think would be better with a fine, a fine glitter, but I had my I've got a little bit left. This is my autumn days. And I thought that would be so pretty against that coppery background. So what I'm doing, taking a little cup, pouring my resin in there. And I want to do all four wings. So I'm going to do, you don't need a whole lot, guys. Like, I'm serious. You don't need a whole lot. That's all I'm doing. It's only, it's up to here on my little, like, see, you can see the end. It's just to where that little starts. I can always do more. I just hate mixing up stuff and then wasting it. And I don't know if I mentioned, but be mindful. Even though it's in a black container, always, always, always put your resin somewhere on the side so you're not getting it cured with your lamp. Now, let me get a little spoon. This one's a chunky and a fine. I'm hoping you're gonna mix it up. And I'm gonna pour a big, good scoop in there and in which you're off camera. There we go. Put a big scoop in there. I'm gonna put my lid on it just cause it's sherry and things just go awry. I'm gonna take my little um, silicone brush and stir that in. And we're just gonna paste. So I'm gonna take my, make sure that you are in. So I'm gonna take a little bit on my silicone brush and I'm gonna put it on there. You can scrape off the edge to get all that glitter. And spread it down. And pick up some more. Oh, I did way too much in here. There. We'll do one at a time. And then I'm going to take this apart. And all I'm doing is... Let me... Here. What I had was... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Let's get two containers. And I had it sitting on two containers like that. So I could hold it because in this part, I was holding it. So there we go. We're going to put that in. And then we're going to do the music. I won't get copyrighted because I'm singing it myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's Sunday. I'm off. I'm having fun. You have to have fun, my friends, because life is too short. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. And I love the idea of the mirror being on the bottom, because then you're getting the reflection. I don't know if it does anything, but you're getting the reflection. I went in and had my nails done. Look at that. They're pretty and blue. I don't know if you can see them or not. Um, and in there they have 
it on the bottom. Um, there's a mirror on the bottom, right? So, and then when you get to this stage, I would do each petal, and then I would go back. They're perfect. Look at that. Isn't they cute? Oh, I'm hoping my eyes are so bad. I'm just hoping it's focusing on you guys. So what I might do is because I don't like the sparsity or it's it's not a lot on the end. I'm going to come in and with my container here. And when this is on the side, please be mindful that you don't cure what's in your little dish. I'm going to come back in and do another coat on the end because I want that end to be. And you can build up and build up and build up, guys. Just remember, if you're building it up, to kind of work it way, work it down so that you've got one smooth, I don't know if I'm saying it right. And I want that glitter on the end. Get in there. There. So I'm going to hold it this way under my light. We'll do that again. Oh, come on, guys. Beeps, help me out here. There we go. I'm going to tilt it downward. Like I'll show you. I'm holding it this way. So that, that end. There, I'll hold it this way. <clears throat> the end of it will stay it isn't gonna kind of because if you're holding it level because you don't need to be it doesn't have to be level now because you've got that base on there so <clears throat> holding it this way like with an angled down you're gonna make sure you get that little bit on the end which is where i was missing it and you can do all four petals a different color you could do this is endless i it's just endless um, I looked through all of my jewelry findings and stuff. Now, half of it's in my son's bedroom in the closet because he had moved home and took over my upstairs craft room. So I've been pulling things out. So stuff is everywhere and I can't get at it because I don't know exactly where it is. See, now we are completely solid, but I'm going to, it'll cure more. I was just going to say... I want to cure it because it needs a little bit more, but I'm going to do this petal. And while it's in, that petal is going to get cured. I'm going to try and bend it up. We'll do it at the end. So, and I didn't move that, did I? <gasps> I'm going to move it onto the side. Oh, <gasps> see, this is what not to do, guys. I had it sitting here. So I'm going to put that top layer out that's oh see my mistakes learn from them please guys and I, I even said it craziness okay so now I'm just gonna put it over here do it a nice thin coat And it doesn't have to be fully covered. Like the one I did earlier wasn't fully covered. Okay, this is going way over here where my other stuff is. And I'm going to do that. Yes, yeah, so as I was starting to say, I was trying to go through all of my bead finding things. Because I thought this would be awesome as a brooch. And I do have some brooch backings, but I can't find them. So you're not going to get this as anything. It's just going to be how to do the dragonfly and up to your imagination what you do with it at the end. You could even make it with a thicker wire gauge, like with that 18 gauge, and you can make it for your flower pot. You could keep it the where I've got the tail instead of curling the tail like I did on the silver one you could um, leave it solid and put it in a flower plant. I think that would be awesome. Oh, it's here, I'm trying to find it. See where I curled the end? 
where I curl the end, you could keep that straight like this with the thicker and you could put that in your flower. I'm just touching, see if it's there. And this is done. This one started to flip down on me. Oh, it's done. I can't do it. Now I'm going to get back. Put a second coat on this one because I want it to match the other one. And you don't have to put that much resin. As long as you can get those glitters to go... Oh, so sorry, guys. The glitters to go in. See, I'm new to doing the jewelry stuff. I'm used to having everything far away so you can see it a little better. Mm. And I think that's it. I don't want to do the whole... Well, maybe a little more down in the center because the other one is quite solid. There, do that one more time and I'm going to move this again. There we go. So yeah, this is fun. I enjoy doing the jewelry. It's like, it's, your imagination is the only thing that stops you, right guys? Because there's so much out there you can do. And this can be added on to my, like my 3D resin poppies that I made for my husband. I'll link that video if you want to watch that. Um, I made resin flowers and did a tribute to my husband being military. And you could add this into that. You know, you could, it's just endless. I love the three-dimensional pictures, which is kind of pretty. My dad owns them all because it's funny because I've given them to my dad and my stepmom. And there. So that's the two top ones done. I am not going to put you through the pain of doing the two bottom ones. So I'll do the two bottoms. And when they're glitterified, I'll be right back, guys. Look at that. Isn't that just, it's just so, it's just so pretty. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I cured all of them. Oh my goodness, this looks so adorable. I love the little aspect of the beads there. Now, the tail, like I said, you can use this for anything, guys. It's just amazing. You can leave it like that. And like I said, you could stick that, even, the, in, even this gauge would be cute. You could stick that into a planter right just a little succulent that you have or something now i have this other little bead it is almost like a coffee colored it's the same as what i had here but it's a different shape and i'm going to put it like i did this upside down this one so i'm going to do the ta i'm going to finish it off like i did that one so i took a bead put it on and hopefully it'll go amongst these other maybe not it ain't gonna work because that bead is too small but so I'm gonna take my body I'm gonna start let me grab my pliers I'm not gonna put a bead on the end because this bead hole is not big enough so let me get my pliers and I'm gonna start making the shape that I want for the so I'm going to pull them up a little bit this way and I'm trying to and actually oh I hate cutting it off so soon but I'm going to cut it off I'm going to probably cut this much off just so I can do a swirl for the tail Wish me luck that it's enough, that I have enough. <laughs> so now I can take the end of my tail like this and just start making a circle. Nothing extravagant. And as you can see, a, a piece of my wire that I had had wrapped 
has come out so we can take the pliers and kind of try and push that just follow the wire with the pliers and and I'm sorry guys if I keep getting in and out of your frame it's like I said I'm not used to doing videos with the jewelry so <clears throat> Not that I'm not used to doing jewelry, so don't get me wrong there, because it's funny because I get comments that I don't know what I'm doing sometimes about jewelry. I'm just going to quickly do a little quick tip on the end. Oh, and of course my pliers flew open on me when I didn't want them to. And made a mess. I don't want that to be so flat. There we go. Perfecto. Done. I think he, she turned out amazing. I love the copper effect. Again, like I said, the only thing I didn't like was the head should have been a darker color. You could probably put UV resin and cover the bead. Put some other different glitter in it maybe and color cover the bead, but I think it looks cute the way it is. I will try and turn this into a brooch because you've got the backing here that you could put a UV resin and, and put your brooch backing on. But I think it turned out amazing. Now you could see here, I did two colors. So if you want me to do another one, let me know. I can do another one and we can do it bigger and do the two colors. Or I haven't done a flower in a long, long time, a decade even. If you want a flower, let me know. We can do the flower different colored. So with that, I'm going to give you a little bonus. So with my resin that I have left here, I have these, which I purchased off Amazon. I've done a video on this. Um, so if I'll um, try and link. So what I'm going to do is just put the rest of this stuff because there's no never waste, my friends. And this UV resin is more expensive than the normal resin. Just putting that out there. But you're only making little projects with it, so it tends to go a little further. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put a little base of this down. I'm going to put it under the lamp. And then I'm going to do another coat of clear on top. And that will make all of that glitter pop even more. Please tell me there's enough in here for that one last little petal. Even though it's a wing. Oh, I'm going to have to pick it up and scrape, kind of scrape it off into it. spread it all out it doesn't want to come off too funny and oh and be mindful you don't want to lift that off the paper it's this side I want no it's not it was the other side just as long as it's evened an even coat and if you get it on the top, it's easy peasy, guys. You just wipe it off. Not with your finger like I'm doing. You can do it with whatever. There we go. So I'm going to cure that up, and then I'll let you see it at the end. I'll add the top coat all by myself. I won't put you guys through the torture. So I'll be right back, and then we'll see the end results. I'll see you in a sec, guys.
Well, there you go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully it wasn't too long. I think it, it turned out amazing. You got a little bonus little thing, but this guy is adorable. I love the beads in the center. Hopefully everything's focusing up. I put it on this black velvet just so you might get a better picture. And yeah, so with that, I bought myself a light box. So I'm going to go upstairs and see if I can take some better pictures in the light box. If they work out, I'll throw them on the end, so don't leave. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. That helps my videos out so much, you have no idea. And if you have not yet subscribed, because I know more than half of you guys aren't subscribed, it's free. It helps my channel out tremendously and it would help me get to my next level of my YouTube journey of that 100k that would be awesome if you could do that for me and hit that bell for notifications so when I have my next video you will be notified so everything today that I used will be in my description box and also all the links to all of my suppliers my sponsors and I'll just quickly go through so I have the links to where to purchase Julie Cuts molds I have the links to where to purchase molds and shapes molds I have the links to crystal resin with my discount code of sherry molten 5 capital S I have the links to let's resin which we use today here that is part of my um, jewelry making kit check it out i'll leave the link to that one in as well because you get everything you need to make any resin jewelry the only thing it doesn't come with is pliers so i will link that um, my discount code for let's resin is sherry m10 capital s capital m and i'll again i'll link it in if i'm saying them wrong they are in the description box my friends so also i have the links to my two amazing la res distributors I have Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. Go check her stuff out. She's got lots more than La Res. Um, my discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. And my amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner. She is my very first sponsor. She approached me. That's why I'm so loyal to Laura. I'm like one of those people, like I told my husband, He'll have to kill me or I'll have to die because, you know, we're we're here to the end. We're married to the end. <laughs> so with that, I have my link to Laura, the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my American um, La Res distributor, my American Glitter Guru, um, the glitters that we used here today, um, my discount code for Laura's All, capital letters, Sherry Molten, 10%. And with that, I have the link to my PayPal if you choose to help donate to support my channel. And I'm done. With that, my beautiful people, I will see you in the next one. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.